sort of set up to depressurize this house, what I've done is I've opened up some of the restrictor plates and we're now on the A range. Once you get comfortable with your equipment, you'll know which range, you'll get an idea which range should be on the fan when you start doing your test. So I'm going to start in the A range and I'm going to achieve a pressure of 50 pascals by setting the pressure and 50. We're going to measure the flow through this fan once we achieve that pressure. place their webs in the area where there's a lot of air movement. As you see illustrated right here, there's spider webs and there sure is some air leakage. The air leakage location is the attic hatch. I can feel it just with the back of my hand and you can feel a little bit of air movement around through the seams. A good way to stop that is to put a weather stripping on there and you can even put a little latch on here to pull this down tightly against that weather strip. Very frequently find a lot of air leakage in the basements. And you can feel it coming up the stairwell, and I'm going to concentrate that air leakage by pulling the door shut just a little bit, and you can feel it all coming through the crack. Again, there's a lot of spider webs in this home, and as you can see up here in the basement, all the spider webs are moving around under the pressure, and you can see where that air is moving, it's straight in between the joists out to the side of the house. So we've depressurized this house. Oftentimes you're going to run up to, you're going to get to homes and there's going to be ash in a fireplace, could be a very dusty attic, there could be asbestos or vermiculite insulation. In cases like these you'd want to pressurize the house. And to do that we're just going to switch the, hand or the fan around and make it a positive pressure in here relative to the outside. switched around to pressurize this house. I'm going to once again set the pressure of 50 pascals. Press enter. And you're going to see on channel A of this gauge, it's going to be a positive value instead of a negative value. That indicates the positive pressure relative to the outside. And when, it, when an enclosure is under positive pressure, a good way to determine some air leakage is by using chemical smoke. And this is the Retrotech air current tester. And we can feel that there's an air leakage here, but if I press a little bit of smoke, you can see that quickly escaping through the leak. This is the main water shutoff valve for inside the house. You can tell there's a lot of air leakage around here. And you can see it's a steady stream of smoke out through the house, through the air leakage. Common leakage location is balances. And as you can see up here, there's a leakage. And the smoke clearly indicates that there's a hole. Chemical smoke. These ones are sealed up quite well, and there's even a bit of caulking around. 
on the outside to indicate that it's installed properly, there's no air leaking. 